President Muhammad Buhari has refused to assent the 2016 budget over alleged distortion by the leadership of the National Assembly. The President noted that the removal of huge sum of money for some specific project in the budget was a huge slap on the face of the change agenda of his administration. Hence, the President asked the National Assembly to take back the bill and rework it so as to reflect some key project that was altered by the legislators. Reacting to this, some legal practitioners have called on President Buhari to sign the budget, then go back to the National Assembly if there are any gray areas that need amendment, stressing that the legislators have the constitutional backing to alter the budget. It is only the National Assembly that can remove, that can add in their wisdom. After the thing has gone into committee, once that has been done and they send it to the president for assent, the president should assent to it. For me, if there is anything the president wants that is not captured in that um, bill or that one that has been passed, is for him to take it back to the House of Assembly. Now, if the president amends those things are sent to him, it will be contravening the law. Section 81 sub 1 of the Montana Constitution has given the power to the president to leave budget estimates. And the subsections empower the National Assembly to appropriate. It is not the duty of the president to appropriate, even late the budget estimate. The lawyers also stressed the need for the presidency to lobby and negotiate with the legislators on the passage of the budget for the good of the common man. It's all about lobbying. And when you don't lobby, you may not get completely what you want. If you want completely what you want, that process of lobbying must be done. There has to be a going forth and a going back between the executives and the House of Assembly. And that is the bottom line. The president should just go ahead, assent to it, and then go back. They will now solve it politically between the senior special assistant to the president of National Assembly matters and the National Assembly to look at the gray areas. See how they are going to solve those gray areas for them to achieve the change matra. Meanwhile, some Nigerians have expressed dissatisfaction and worry over the delay and controversy surrounding the 2016 budget. They noted that the common men bears the bonds of the crisis. Most compromise. The executive on their own part must compromise because the interest of the common man is at stake. We can see that uh, so many things have been going wrong because this budget has not been passed. And we over it because uh, it will actually elevate the sufferings and other things are really passing through. Feeling very bad. Yes, because Nigerians are dying. Even if we don't die physically, but we are dying inside of. Nothing is moving. So, honestly, I'm not happy. So we are calling. If you ask me now to call for the government, I would like to call for the government to do what they're supposed to do. As the budget controversy lingers, some analysts say. It is healthy for our democracy, while some say it is a tussle of supremacy between the executive and the legislature at play which has ripple effects on the nation's economy. Nick Luke, Liberty News.